Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this week on the old magic roundabout, we've got a Corgi Toys Black Beauty from the Green Hornet fame. There you go. As you watch this go round, I just like to welcome any new friends of the channel. Welcome aboard. And welcome back all the old friends of the channel. Thanks very much for hanging around and watching the videos. Much appreciated. Anyway, uh, this is uh, this week's restoration. Hopefully I'll get it done. This is also going to double up as the uh, Diecast and Modelers Community, DMC. Their monthly challenge, which is any TV related or film related vehicle. So I thought we'd do this one. Hopefully I'll get it done. Hopefully it'll be alright. Okay. Let's get off the magic, get it on a bench and have a good look at it. Okay, we're on the bench. Let's get organised. Hey. Right, the old black beauty. From Green Hornet fame. Yeah, that goes in and the lever at the side there. Press it and the missile should fire out. This is one, I've got a couple of these uh, in different states of disrepair but this is the one that actually got a decent front end except the, the boot won't shut properly so i might be able to be robbing if it's broken broken i'll be robbing something else off another one because that just that lever goes pulls it out but like that but for some reason that's not it's not shutting winds broke on this his gun broke on that the uh, decal on top is missing, sticker, whatever, cracked glass. And underneath, we've got two rivet posts there, one there. Now, I watched a couple of videos. Paul Restore did one, and Bob Willis did one a long time ago. And Bob reckons you don't have to take that middle one out because that releases the cannon. You don't have to do that. You'll see in a minute when I take this apart what I mean. So, while I'm doing that one, I thought, well, I might as well get spares for it. It's got a new glass, a new sticker, the missile, and the whirly gig. So, we're good to go with that. While I was at it, I thought I might as well buy a box. So, I bought a repo box. That obviously goes on there. Yeah. Something like that. Or like that, whichever way around you want to get. That's the way around. That and the box itself. Green on it. Number 268. Very good Rico box this, if you look at it. It's quite nice. Prints in registry. Nice colour. It's got a nice... Um, yeah, it's nice print. Writing's clear. On there, yeah, so pleased with that. So that's your box and everything else. So we've got all the gear that we need, okay? So I'll just stick this over here out of the way for a minute. I think it's worth putting a buying a box for this one. Like, if I, if I do, if and when I do the James Bond car, uh, I'll probably buy the box for that as well. I think it's um, worth it in the long run. Right, we've got our tub. So, we'll get the tools out and we'll get uh, we'll get drilling. Get this base off. Like I say, these have got pinholes in them, so it's a good drill guide. So we'll get it off and then we'll have a look, see what's inside this thing. Okay, that's the base drilled. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Get it in shot so you can see. Right. Let's just lift gently because we don't know what's going to fall out. We don't know what's going to fall out. Just look and see where the bumper attaches there at the front. Gently lift it off. Just going to hold that bumper there for a second. Turn it over. Yeah, okay. 
that just sits in there like that. That bumper just sits in there like so, so that's okay. All right, that's the chassis. That's the chassis, that's the base. Shall we have it all? Yeah, okay. Right, first impressions. That's okay, I'll put that in there out of the way. What's broken? The back there, you can see that's strained. There. It's gone all white, so that's a lot of good. The back suspension does work, so that's okay, that's there. Turn it round, move that slightly, and then you'll see that front suspension is in place, but that one's not, that's broken. Okay, so we've got the suspension there, but not there. All right. The other thing what's in place, which is always good, is this arm here. That's good, that's in place. Sometimes you'll get that broken off, because that's how it works. You push this lever in here, and that, as you can see, operates that. Push that back. Push this lever against this plastic, and it operates drops a bumper down at the front so that's how that's how that operates there okay so it's that because some of these break off so the only damage you've got is this here is broken and that is broken there but like i say i've got some more over here which i've already taken apart to have a look to see what damage is damaged. And then the other one I've got has got that's broken as well. And then, so whatever it is, I've got to repair this side. For some reason, whether it's this side where it goes, not this one. And you would have thought it would be in this one, but it doesn't. Um, if you undid that centre rivet, then this whole thing will come out. All right. But you can get this out once this is off. You can get that out via the front and put it back via the front without having to take this off. All right, so that's that's the chassis bit. This is the body. This is a boot release. See that's fitting now. Then you push that forward like that, and it it releases the boot. And you push the boot back up. As you can see, it's shutting now like it wasn't before, for some reason or other. And when you push that lever there, it drops the boot down by hitting that there. Okay. And this is obviously the spring there for the um, the wordy gig at the back. Right, so that's fairly straightforward. So we can take that off. Yeah, that's self-explanatory. And they just pull the spring mechanism out. That comes out by itself. We don't need to mess about with that. There you go. Looks like an old peg spring. Put that in there. I'm just having a look, see whether or not this is a separate item, obviously. There you go. That's a separate item. I haven't actually done one of these. I have took them apart. I've got two over here, which are sat there take, taken apart, but I haven't stripped them any further than this. So this is the first time I'm stripping this. And the boot lifts out. That's for the caustic. Right now, where we got here? That's your pole for twisting the... Matey, in and out, or side to side, is where you want to go. Now, I'm not sure where we go from here, but we'll have to have a fiddle about. Let's we'll see what happens. So, we lift him up at the front, and there you go, he's out. We've got the driver. That dashboard obviously folds over, you can see that dash will fold over. I'll put that in the uh, cleaner. There's matey. There. I've never seen the program, so I can't really talk much about it because I don't know what it's about much. Glass drops out. Now we've got the front headlights here. They look like they've pushed out forward. 
from here. Yeah. Now, hang on a minute. Wait a minute, wait one. I did hear, remember somebody saying something about them being different. To get them in the right way round. I can't see much difference. Okay, what we're going to do then, I'll take this one out of here. Drop it down there. And if I get a... Um, marker pen and I'll mark that black on the back of there I'll put a, a little note in there black one to this side just in case you never know push them out Okay, that's ready for the caustic soda. That and that, so that's cool. That's good to go. Right now, so look at this. Alrighty. Okay, we should be able to just lift that off that stub. Got nothing else connecting at the back there. Let's just see if we can tweak that off there. Without breaking anything, we should be able to. See why not. Just gently. There you go, here she comes. There you go. Right, I've already taken a couple of photographs, so the other ones are stripped down. But rem rem remembering this spring here, there's a clip there, goes over the top. There, okay. So should we just be able to pull that? Jiggle a poker, you that out of there. One way or another. There, that's out. So this is your... Mechanism to for your bonnet is that bit there. All right, that fits over there, like so. All right, so there we go. This is a bit you can slide in, like that, rather than taking all this off. That and that. Back axles out. Should be able to get that out of there. Slide that back out of there somehow. I think it should be able to slide that. I don't know, it just come out anyway. Well, that a lot of good then, wouldn't it? Just come out anyway. So that didn't work then. I'm about to, to do that, I'm about to ground these off. Oh well, never mind. Now yeah, push that back in, that'll be fine. There's your spring. I'm not going to mess with it, it's going to clean it up. Yeah, fairly straightforward that. Oh well, well. that didn't work then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might as well take these uh, wheels off here. Get the axles cleaned up. They're a bit stiff. I'll do that. This is your frame. This is a bit what's broken. This is suspension arm here, and that's where it's broke. That's where it's broken there. So I'm going to see if I can work something out how to to do that. Because it's that waxy plastic again. This is fairly strong, so that's okay. I ain't got, I ain't got a problem with that one. That was okay. This. 
severely strained. Yeah, well, I'll, we'll look at this at a later date. Just need to get all this stripped first. Okay. Get it all stripped and painted. And then I can mess about with this while the paint being black is drying. So that's going to be the next job. Caustic soda. And then we'll go through the parts that we're going to keep. We'll get these axles off of there. Okay, so there we go. Box of parts. That's 11 minutes, 15 seconds. Okay, that's all the paint stripped off. Come off quite well, actually. Not too bad at all. Good casting underneath. Yes, a bit motley with the uh, different mixtures in it. But it's smooth. I think I had to do one or two just a bit on the edge there, whereas I've been bashed at some point there and a little bit there. But apart from that, yeah, pretty good. There was a couple of little blisters appeared on there. I'll just file them flat with the file and then uh, go over this. I've got one of these sanding pad things. This is an old one now, but it's got enough grit gone off it now to make it, just give it enough for a key and for a primer. Yeah. The base, I'm not going to paint the inside. Might get a bit of overspray over it, but I'm not going to paint the inside. Uh, just the outside. Excuse, oh, excuse me. The boot, yeah, there was a couple of little marks there. I think these all filling with primer. They're not very deep. If not, I'll, I'll uh, fill them. We'll see. I think we'll probably be all right. Yeah. Yeah, so, primer and paint. Yeah, I'm using the uh, high coat primer this time. I can, uh, so give it a good old shake. You might be able to see, so I'll try and keep it in shot if I can. Yeah, we'll see. Better put a glove on, or not. Let me just... Uh, Right. Usual format, keep it uh, six, eight inches away. Light coats, don't want to swamp it. Quick spin round first time round, and then it's quite quick drying is primer, so you can quite easy give it another shot. Right, that'll do for the body. Side, so I'm just going to light coat on the outside. You see that? Now the boot, the boot or the trunk? Who's right and who's wrong? It makes sense to call it a trunk because that's where you put the case. Put 
put a bit more on here just to see what I can smooth them holes out. Right, here you go. Where's your button? Okay, here we go with the black. This is the Ico, just a Ford black. See how it goes. Going to give it a thin coat, a light coat inside. Hopefully, you can see that. If I can't see my camera without bending forward and looking. that now and then come back the second coat in a bit okay make sure I've got all the little bits first and I'm going to come back and hit that with the second coat okay just a quick update on where we are with the uh, black beauty She's all painted, <coughs> excuse me, she's all painted and lacquered. This was dry, dried first because I wanted to do this. I've just painted a green ornament on there. Okay, and I used Tamiya's Park Green X28. Pretty good colour. So that's drying at the minute, we've got that done. Now the suspension, as I showed you, was broken. It was just this one side there. Okay, but on further investigation, this side here was started to go, it was cracked. So what I've done was this piece here is off another one, which was totally shot. All the front suspension on this was totally gone. And the arm, and this arm was missing. So what I did was I cut the back off it. See these two here? I cut the back off it and use one of those and uh, baking powder and glue super glued it on there but what I did notice when I was doing a test run because I've got this I've got this one here which I've been using as a sort of things out type of thing you know um, test run stuff and I noticed that and I'll show you this I did one here, tried it, I tried it in there earlier on. That that spring there there is I would say the reason why this side breaks all the time because that spring virtually touches that. And when when the suspension is operated it goes up it, that goes up and it bottoms out on the bottom of that spring and I think that is where it gets broken. That's why that side always breaks. It has to be, if you, if you glue one, you have to get it as close as possible to this side. Yeah. You leave a little gap, but it's joined about the bottom five mil. It's joined, get in that corner. Otherwise, if you don't, it's going to hit that spring. As you can see, that's close. So what you have to do when you assemble it, you have to assemble it in the right order. Wheels in first, then this, we'll go through this anyway, then this, and then the plastic piece, and then that. You can work this plastic piece over there, but it's a bit of a faff. So I would say you are better off taking this off. Because you put this on, then you put that on last. Therefore, the spring and this won't catch. You're going to break an act that then sit on top like it is now. 
If you try and get this underneath that spring, after you've fitted that, then you'll struggle. So I just thought I'd show you that while I was working things out. Yeah, because I've been using this as a test model. Yeah, so that's that's where we are. I'll put this back together again now. Over there, out of the way. So, that's done. Hopefully it'll be fine. As you can see, I've got it in as close as I can to the edge. This goes in like that because it separates when it gets in. So that's okay. That's good to go now. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but I know that I've got a backup over here because that one does work. I'll put a screw in the bottom of this. Okay. So I want to screw this down. And you can drill hole. This is a, this is an M2 by four screw. And I cut it, took a little bit off the end of it because otherwise it'll come through that hole there. So that's that one, that, that bit done. And uh, I've cleaned up the radiator. I'm gonna keep it bare metal, I'm not gonna paint it. I'm just hoping that's not going to get be a problem. It's slightly bent down there a bit. We'll see. We'll see. Because these are quite delicate, these, if you're not careful. And I've done the red, whatever they are, in there. So that's ready to go. I'll just show you the, the main body. I've just painted it. So you have to bear with me. It's on the, it's on the stand. Okay, I've just painted that. And it's got lacquer on it at the minute. And that's four jet black. All right. I mean, yeah, it's not perfect. Don't get it wrong, because it's black, but it's the best I can get it anyway. Yeah. All righty. So that's now drawn. I can't touch this now till tomorrow. So that's where it'll stay now overnight. And then tomorrow, we should be good to go on the assembly. Hopefully, I've got to put the decal on the top because I bought a decal rather than a sticker. Um, so that's got to go, I think anyway, um, that's got to go on top and I've got to do the the orange or red stripes in the boot. And then we're uh, pretty much ready for assembly. Okay then, that's just an update. Okay, it's the assembly time. Let's see if we can get this back together without too much damage or too many problems and I hope it cooperates cooperates this decal on top I'll just push them lights in while I remember which way they went round there's the bodywork not too bad at all there you go you've got to be careful with black there's the boot all the bits and pieces so this needs to be assembled in the correct order. Or else you'll get yourself in a bit of bother. Hopefully, I'll, hopefully I'll get this right. So, here we go. First of all, first job is to get the wheels in. Especially the front wheels. You can put the back wheels in if you want as well. There you go, front and back. And then the next order of business, uh, this you could do is standing it on something really, maybe that. Yeah, next order of business is getting these in, getting the clips in. I've got one over here, I'm just looking, I've got, I've got one here, I'm just trying to remind myself which way around it goes. Let's put that one in first. Let's put this one in first. Like so. And then this one should go in something like that. Yeah, you need to get that in first. And then put your top on this one. Push that down over there. As you can see, it operates now. Okay. I'm not going to go too mad with this because I don't want to break that. Then 
you put this in. This has to go in next. All right. So I've got to take it off here now. Move that. Hold that. But you drop this in. And you'll see that, that suspension leg there, where that position is close to there, it catches that spring. That's why I reckon half the problem with these break. We've got to get that in that slot. It's more complicated trying to explain as I go along than it is actually doing it, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Then we have to put the screw in. This one. I'm not saying it's going to work perfectly. I'll give it a couple of test shots and it seems to be okay. I get it, it is worn. It is an old model and it is worn. Yeah, I know. I'm making excuses. But there you go. We'll see. We will see. This has to be done tight. Because I'm screwing it, obviously it has to be done tight. Get this in as tight as you can. You'll see now what I mean about that suspension leg and that spring. Look how close that is to there. Okay. It's all, it's all operating. There's your, there's your missile. That should go into there. And then it should fire out, yeah? You get that? See that? Just in case it doesn't, doesn't work later on, I'm showing you now. There you go. There you go. So we know that works. So we got this to this stage. All right, now I can't remember now what we've got to do next. So that's all right there. Then I think we've got to turn ourselves to the to the body. Now I need to put I need to put a glove on. It's courtesy of Martin Fraser, these proper nice chauffeur gloves. So thank you, Martin, for that. Hope they fit my hands. I'm doing this because that body is a bit it's black and it's uh I don't want to get it covered in finger marks. Mind you, these gloves might be a bit small, Fraser. My big old hands, but we'll see. We'll put the other one on as well. Excuse me while I do this. Here we go. Chat amongst yourself for a second or two. Right. Lock it in here. Oh, there you go. Well, let's see what happens now. Uh, yeah, there is this boot mechanism to go in as well, actually, as it happens. This has got to go in as well. I think that goes in like so. In there. Yeah, that goes in like that. There. We'll just stick that on over there for a second. I hope this is not going to affect the camera too much. Turn this up the other way. Get our glass. Don't know why I'm so nervous. You know, you get like, you know, whew. put our boot in. We'll get our boot in. Come on. Also, because I've got gloves on, it's slipping about all over the place. I'll drop that in there like that. And we've got to get this boot in.
I think that's in. Let's just check this other one. Yeah, it looks like it's in where it's supposed to go. Glass keeps dropping out. Right. Get a man in. <laughs> Sat there. Okay. We didn't think about that, did we? This might be a little bit awkward. A bit tricky dicky this one, I think. Trying to get him to hold that there. Should be on right there. Looks all right. That's in there. Yeah, that's that's down as far as it will go. That's in. Right. If I remember rightly, this one sits. Can't remember if you have to put it in this one first or that one first. It sits in like that anyway. So now the tricky bit is putting these two bits together. <laughs> Trying to put all this lot flipping lot together. I remember which way around it goes now. That's it, I think. Yeah, that's it there. Look at that, it all dropping out. So this might take a couple of attempts to do to do this. So bear with me while I do it. If somebody's done one before, we go, nah, don't do it like that. Do it like this. I suppose we could put that on there. That might help, might it? If we stick that on there, just in case. I'm trying to hold this without it sliding out of my hand because these gloves are quite slippery. And let's go for it. Let's go for it. See what happens. That seems to be right there. That seems to be right there. Now oh, the bloody boots come up. Go on with that. No, something wrong with the boot. Boot's not operating right somehow. Oh, I know why. Oh, I know why. Wait one a second, chaps. Wait one. Oh, that's in. That's in. Hey, my gum, can you barely touch your bum? Oh, I keep knocking that boot out of place. All right, get in there. Stop messing about. All right. That goes in. Like so. 
there. Right, so again, not that. So we should be able to just turn that up that way. Or that side. Right, okay, there. Right, let's try again. Sorry about this, people. I'll slide that, that bit in in a minute. I forgot there was two clips at the back here. Where are they? All right, we'll do that. Then we'll drop that in. I'm, trying, I'm probably making it look more complicated than it really is. But I think it's because I'm a little bit worried, a bit nervous about scratching the paint more than anything else. It says he's attacking it with a screwdriver. Right, okay. Right, looks like we're in. Well, it looks like we're in there, we're in there, we're in there, we're in there. Right, okay, let's put some screws in then. See what happens. See what happens. Call yourself, I'm shaking, I'm mad here, I don't know what's going on, it's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy, that's one of the reasons why I don't do these TV vehicles or these bloody things. I really am. Oh, come on. Get in there. So bloody no, worried about it. All right. I bet you were having a good laugh over this. Just lay it down, sod it. Should have done that in the first place, shouldn't I? I said to my message this morning, I said, oh, I won't be long, I'm just going to go and put this car together. And I said, well, we, we can, uh, she wants to go do a bit of shopping. So there won't be long. <laughs> She'll be on the phone in a minute. Bless her. She's very patient with me. Bloody have to. Right, OK, let's do these screws up and see what happens. Works, it works, it don't, it don't. I shall put some black on these screws when we're all said and done. Right. She's there. She's there. 
Well, here, here, his boot opens anyway. That's one thing. And the front opens. Wow. Bloody hell. That surprised me. Well, let's whack that in there then. Close that up. You watch, I'm going to put this in here, I'm going to lose it. Put that in there. Oh, it's not gripping. There it is. There you go. Completed. Together. She's all done. And dusted. Have a look. There you go. That was a mission. It took me 18 minutes to put that together. 18 minutes. Oh, mate, it works, as you know. Just goes, spins around on there. No big deal. And she's a roller. And she's got suspension. A bit tight at the front there, but it's there. So now we've got to put it in this box. Dare I fire it out, or dare I not? Or I might bloody lose it if I did that. So let's put that up here. Uh, where'd that go? <laughs> Dear me. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, dear. I'll tell you. There it is. So we know that works. Okay. That's okay. And the front should work. There you go. Front works as well. So we've got a fully functioning black beauty. Which I'm quite happy about. Says he, trying to get it back in there. There you go. I'm just going to give it a bit of a wipe and then we'll get it in the box. First of all, I'm going to put it on the magic. Okay. And then you see how it goes from there. Let's get it on the magic. This is what we started with. Gorgie Toys. Black Beauty. There we go. So now, have a look. See what we've done with it. See what you think. I look forward to your comments. Okay, here we go. All done and dusted. The old uh, Gorgie Toys Black Beauty. Green Hornet fame. Bearing in mind it is black. It's going to show all the dust up already. There's a bit of dust on it there. Look already. There you go. Bit of a faff me putting it back together again. But it's the first time I've done it on camera. So that's my excuses. I'm sticking to it. Yeah, not the easy. It, it, it's easier than the James Bond and all them, but it's still a little bit tricky getting it in the right order and get it right. And there's a lot to hold together while you're screwing it, if you understand what I mean. You know, holding the boot down and this, that, and the other. But yeah, it's, it's good fun. It was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Came out quite nice. As you saw, it all operates. So now I'm going to cut this now and I'm going to go and put it in the box. I'm going to, we're going, we're going to put it in the box and then we'll call it a day. Okay, we're back at the box. I took out the missile and the, and the doings. I'm going to stick them in the bottom here. Um, I don't like to keep tension on the springs, so I'll just put them in the bottom. In fact, I've got a little bag here. I'll put them in the little bag here. So I haven't got the secret instructions, so I never came with this. Not that I'm not. All right, so there's your box. Okay. And put your car on the top there. Put it that way around. So she's all done. Look at that. 
pleased with that. Close that down like so. Good boxes, actually. I can't remember where I got it from. I have to check, but yeah, good box. It's the same guy I, I bought before off this guy. I can't remember his name to be honest with you. So I'll get this in the right way round. There she goes. In. Dinky toys. Um, corgi toys. Green on it. All done. There you go. Well, thanks for watching. I know it's a bit of a longer video. Um, but at the end of the day, for those who haven't done one, you can now see you, what happens and what you got to do. I mean, yeah, you might do it quicker than me. You might do it slower than me. But this, that was my first time putting this thing together. I was a bit nervous when it comes to doing these TV related things with lots of gadgets and gizmos because I'm always sort of trying to move, make sure it works. That's the thing. Anyway, there you go. Hope you like it. And I will see you all again next week. It should be the end of... The, yeah, it'll be the, the end of month purchases next week and donations. So we'll see you then. Enjoy yourselves, whatever you're doing. And above all, be happy. Bye for now.